Welcome to Open Your Reality. Today we're going to talk about what is an Ascended Master. Who are these Ascended Masters? And how did they gain their title? Basically, the Ascended Masters are a group of spiritually enlightened beings who once lived either as humans or like humans. Through their own hard work, they have cleared all their karma and have left the cycle of rebirth. These evolved spiritual beings are called masters due to their self-mastery over their lower or base nature. This refers to their emotional and mental nature and having evolved beyond being controlled by such. This is similar to what humanity is learning right now. As humans evolve over the millennia, we become increasingly more masterful over our own lower nature and therefore rise spiritually over each lifetime we live. So where do the Ascended Masters come from? What are their origins? Well, as I said earlier, these Masters began as beings similar to humans in many ways, with many of the same flaws that humans struggle with. In other words, they evolved through the lower dimensions of physicality, just as we are doing now. Some Ascended Masters evolved from Earth, while others have primarily evolved on other planets similar to Earth. To give an example, I am now reading a book called Advent of a Mystery, which is the biography of Sri Sri Anand Amurti, which was incidentally recommended by a viewer of this channel. In the book, this great avatar claims to have come from a different star system to Earth to help humanity. His consciousness incarnated into a baby in India in the early 20th century. He was fully conscious and as intelligent as any adult, even when he was months old. But due to the constraints of the physical body as a toddler, he had to wait to walk, talk, and express himself. When he did, it wasn't long before his family, friends, and community were able to see all the powers he possessed. But not all Ascended Masters incarnate as babies. Some materialize an adult body, as did Haida Khan Babaji in 1970. When he achieved his mission for the brief time he was in that body, it ceased to live, which was in the year 1984. Babaji's consciousness then returned to the astral realm. That's another difference between Ascended Masters and regular humans. The Ascended Masters always come to Earth with a specific mission in mind, and when they die, they usually do so consciously and retain all their memories, while we lose them. And these memories are not only from their last incarnation, but from all of their past lives. Most people don't realize there exist many older and more evolved worlds in the universe than our own. These worlds are spiritually and technologically more evolved than ours. Masters from these more advanced civilizations will sometimes choose to come to Earth to help our younger, less evolved world. This is all part of God's plan to expand towards love. I've already mentioned two Ascended Masters. Some of the more famous ones are Jesus, Buddha, Ma Avatar Babaji, Saint Germain, and Lady Nada. Another difference between an Ascended Master and a normal human is found in what happens after death. While all of us retain our consciousness after death, only Ascended Masters retain their memories from all past lives, and they choose when to die. But even if they don't choose to die, they know exactly when they will and how. But death of the physical body means little to an ascended master, because their consciousness can stay in the astral realm and return to Earth any time with a new body. This is different from us mere mortals, who have to go through the afterlife process and reincarnate with no conscious memories of our past lives. Additionally, Ascended Masters have many powers that normal human beings do not possess. While they do not flaunt their powers, they are vast indeed. In most cases, 
They are only used in such a way that will help evolve humanity. These beings can see the future, remote view, communicate telepathically, endure anything that would kill a normal person, like extreme heat or cold, and they can also teleport and manifest objects out of thin air. Put it this way, if life was a video game, they are the characters who've mastered it. So how does one become an ascended master? For starters, it's not an easy task. It often requires eons of time going through countless life experiences. In other words, reincarnating over and over until the ego has been eradicated so that only love remains. As a result, that being only wishes to help others who are lesser evolved because that's what a completely loving being would do. Currently, the Ascended Masters are very active on the world stage and have been playing a role in the history and evolution of our planet for thousands of years. If you wish to connect with one of these Ascended Masters, you only need to meditate on one of them. If you do that consistently, with genuine intent and love, that master may answer your prayers. The master that I most resonate with is Ma Avatar Babaji, but I also love the fascinating Count of Saint Germain, who was much more involved in the public spotlight. I made dedicated videos on each of these ascended masters, and the links to them can be found in the description below. While the ascended masters take on a physical body from time to time, most of them work behind the scenes in higher dimensions. Currently, they are channeling through to our world more than ever, as more and more people slowly wake to their existence. The Earth is in much need of help at this point in history because so much has been altered from God's plan. This era marks a time when things are to be put straight again. A time of disclosure is coming that will reveal the many untruths that humanity has lived by artificially for years under programs of manipulation, suppression of technologies, and programs of control that have reigned recently. But this is all soon to end. The Ascended Masters want to see it end within a generation. We can do our part by continuing to evolve opening ourselves up to their messages, and doing what we can to make this world a loving, more beautiful place. And if you want to see more videos on the Ascended Masters, I have two popular videos on my channel I posted a few months back. You'll be able to see them at the end of this video. Anyway, a couple of weeks ago, I received an email from a company that created a board game called Masters of Light subtitled The Board Game of Self-Discovery. It's a spiritual game that actually involves the Ascended Masters. No, not literally, but figuratively. I was completely unaware a game like this existed, so I was glad the company reached out to me. They sent me a complimentary game to see in person, which is an awesome gesture, so thank you. The first thing I noticed about this game was the beautiful colors and artwork. I mean, what other game do you know has a deck of cards with the Ascended Masters on them? Just look at these cards. They even have many of the Ascended Masters I mentioned in this video, plus a lot more. Unlike traditional board games where the object is to win, this game is geared more towards raising your level of consciousness. The back of the game box describes itself as an adventurous oracle board game to discover yourself alongside the Ascended Masters and Goddesses of all time. It includes an Oracle card deck, game board, over 144 different cards to activate, empower, and inspire. What a cool game! I'm glad to see there are companies out there like this creating these types of fun spiritual games. If you want to purchase the game, I put the link to it in the description. If you use that link, I get a little something for each game sold, which goes towards the channel, so I can make more videos for you guys. Thank you. Well, that wraps up another Open Your Reality video. 
I'd appreciate a like on this video if you enjoyed my content. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified of more videos from me. And big ups to everyone who supports my channel on Patreon. I so much appreciate it. Oh, and if you know of any other spiritual games out there similar to Masters of Light, let me know in the comment section. All right, I'll see all of you in the next video. And if your craving for Ascended Masters content has not been quenched, I implore you to check out these two other awesome videos right here. Okay, namaste, peace out, I'm gone.